So yeah, I sent Bruce and Nate to get out. Hold on, you're crooked. I just gotta straighten you up there. I sent Bruce and Nate out to get my Walmart grocery order because it's so foggy out there. And uh, they went and she's like, we don't have your order. And they're like, so they call me and I check and I, I guess, I don't think I put my order all the way through. It wasn't an email saying your order is ready or anything. So I messed up. She said, someone's been messing up there. They've been sending orders to Windsor. But I checked and the order didn't go through. I messed it up somehow. Anyways, we'll have to go pick that up tomorrow. But they're bringing home some lunch. So... We'll have lunch together. And I have a few um, things coming today. My tripod's coming today. And a few things from Amazon. And I got this today. I got my straws. For my water here, I don't like a plastic straw. I like to have... Um, I like the straw that come with it, but it wore out, and it they can get dirty inside. So I threw it away, and um, and I ordered some of these. I like I don't like the steel straws. I don't like glass, like glass straw. I'm afraid of. I thought I heard the mail coming. A uh, glass straw. I'm afraid of. I'm afraid I'll I'll break glass in my mouth. I know it's crazy, but a glass straw? No. You know how clumsy I am. So I got these ones. And Get them, Sandy! I I don't know how those girls are getting up in that feeder. They have a whole bowl of peanuts. And seeds on the porch here and they freaking insist on going in my window beater I got these straws yeah oh the yeah they're gonna be perfect you guys they're, they're gonna be perfect I'm gonna wash a couple I'll show you the colors I got all different colors it's 12 bucks I don't think that's a bad deal this is what I needed to wash the straw so I got all these colors. Yeah. That's what I wanted. So, I've been wanting uh, a Stanley cup. I don't know. Most, some of you know what that is. Stanley. It's a, and it comes with a handle. It's like these cups, but it's 40 ounces. It comes with a handle. On Amazon in Canada, $130 for the ones with a handle. You can get the ones like these, but, but I don't want these ones. $30, or you can get two packs at Costco. I wanted the this, this built-in handle. So, I was, I'm not ordering that for $130. Uh-uh, I'm not the rich fella, I'm the other fella. Uh-huh. <laughs> but uh, I heard so many good things about that cup, Stanley. And I'll keep searching. I'll pay 50 but I'm not paying 130 I'm, And I know you guys in the States are probably saying, well, I can get it for 50 Yeah, probably you can, but I looked all over Amazon. And I don't like to order from different sites besides Amazon. Amazon's the only site I really like to order from, I trust. Yeah, so. But I'll just keep using my Yeti. It's good, but I would like a handle, and I can't find my handle that I had. I don't know where it went. can't find it anywhere. I'm going to go wash a straw. I think I'm going to go with the green one to match my cup. Yeah, I've got other things coming today, which I'll show you. Mostly vitamins. Oh. You know, I keep forgetting to show you what I got for Christmas, my uh, village. 
couple pieces of my village I got for Christmas. So I'll show you pictures right here. And I'll be back when my lunch comes. The boys deliver the lunch. The boys are home with her lunch in her failed grocery haul. <laughs> I'm going to go get her lunch, you guys. I'll be back. Okay. Daddy got you guys your own burger. You say thank you to Daddy? <laughs> oh, he's such a good daddy. Okay, this one's yours, Coco. Sandra, this one's yours. There you go. Enjoy your hamburger. Thank you, Daddy. Okay, you guys. Lunch is here. What did you get? Um, grilled chicken. Grilled chicken sandwich? Mm -hmm. I got the chicken strips. And the poutine, because I do not enjoy their fries too much. What happened was, Nate got chicken strips for Wendy's and from Tim Hortons. So he gave me one to try. We'll be trying that. Yeah. Let me get a thumbnail here. Okay. Thumbnail done. Lunch at Wendy's. Okay, so. Like I said, I don't... I like Wendy's fries. I really don't. You can improve on them, Wendy's. Just saying. So I got some dips here. I got, what do we got here? Honey mustard. And barbecue sauce. And then Bruce, or Nate got, um, dip with his, with his chicken fingers. This is ranch, Bruce. Mm -hmm. And this one here. Oh, I could have gone without it. I don't know you like dippy. That's Dip. because you're dippy. Well, thank you. I am dippy some days. Like, not ordering my Walmart pickup. Which kind, sis? Chipotle. Okay. I believe. Then we have barbecue. How was that? You like it? You're welcome. Oh God, he's going after your feet. Sickle. Zen has a foot fetish. That's because I get my French dry. No, it's because you got ugly feet or something. He loves your feet. I got sexy feet. I don't know about that. They're worker man's feet. Okay. You like sucking on a big dough every now and then. No, get out of here, you sicko. <laughs> this helps improve the fries. I hope you enjoy yourself. I gotta go. Get ready for work. Bring your bird with you. Uh. Well, this is a surprise. Lunch, but no groceries. <laughs> mm -hmm. First, we're going to eat the Wendy's. Let's try the honey mustard. Not on that toe. Mm -hmm. Chew on that toenail, then. Honey lips. Uh, oh, I got to go. I have let Sandy out. Okay, that's the honey mustard. It's good. Hang on. Okay. Um. Yeah, I had planned. I was gonna make um. I'll make them tomorrow. Uh. Cheeseburgers. 
We'll have them tomorrow. But first, uh, I'll take you tomorrow to get the pickup order. We'll we'll go out. I don't think it's going to be foggy tomorrow. Mm hmm. Oh, that that piece of cheese tastes like rubber. Okay. Let's try the barbecue sauce. Well, not that good. Mm -mm. No. I think I like a, a sweeter. A sweeter barbecue sauce. Neat, right? They do have the good tasting drinks. <laughs> yeah. So. Yesterday I took off and I uh, got my laundry going. Oh, now I gotta let Sam Coco out. Hang on. They wouldn't go out this morning because of the rain. Hey, well, hey, how was your? You didn't like them. Okay, you can have the rest of them. <laughs> I, I have like one left. Okay. And some pieces here. I'll try them. Chicken strips are pretty good. Nice and soft. Which ones? The Tim Hortons. The ones? Wendy's. I'll let the Wendy's. Wendy's have the best. Oh yeah, they are pretty good. But they just can improve on their fries, eh? Were your poutine not good? Yeah, but I like just regular <coughs> fries if they were good. I have to get the poutine because they're not that great. Can you watch Coco out there? Daddy. No, she's okay. Coco. Coco. Oh, there he is. <sighs> Coco, come back over here. Okay, let's try this Tim Hortons. We'll use the sauce, I guess. No. Yeah. They taste like frozen chicken. They taste very tough. That's the one thing that I have found, that they're very tough. They like, taste like the frozen ones you just cook in the oven. Uh -huh. Last time we got them, they were really good. I know, I might have, because he said, I think he said, I don't know if they're different, because I think he said chicken tenders. I don't know if he got them wrong, I'm not no, sure. No, they're not that good. But they, those are not the ones I got the last time. Mm -hmm. The other ones I got were a lot better. Yeah, those are a fail. I, well, I ate as much as I could. But oh, yeah. I ate as much as I could. Good thing you got the Wendy's ones, so. Oh, no, yeah, I'm happy about that. It would have been just... Mm -hmm. You see him? Look at this, I'm waiting for him. He's, he's over here walking around. He's so lost. Oh, he's a squirrel. Oh, he's a squirrel. I got my Pioneer Woman shirt Coco, on. let's go! Uh -huh. Coco! Um. I got this as a gift. I'm not complaining. I'm just... Sometimes read drum and rots as my videos. <laughs> Easy. Easy. I'm asking her. Oh my. Coco, let's go! Who's okay? He's by the mailbox. He does that. He goes by the mailbox. Uh huh. He'll be coming. Here Come comes on, Sandy. Coco. We're not staying out there long when it's wet. Oh, Ree, if you're listening, I love oh your shirt. Goodness, come on. You need to make these shirts a little thicker. Mm-hmm. Thicker shirts. They're so see-through. Okay. So, I would appreciate if you could make them a little thicker. 
Fine. I would be willing to pay a little extra dollars. For just, don't, just don't get water on it. <laughs> <laughs> that would be trouble. Yeah. <laughs> I know it was a gift, but I even noticed that with my um, my Grinch shirt I bought this year from Walmart. Thin as can be. Like, so thin. And I'm willing to pay a few extra dollars to, for people that make thicker shirts. I'm just saying, if I was to sell a shirt, it would be a lot thicker than these ones. And my Grinch one. Hi, baby. Hey, Mm-hmm. Come here. Daddy. It's okay for Daddy. Jimmy, I guess, but when you're a little hunky-chunky. She's fine, Mom. I didn't dry her for balls. She should be okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. When you're a little hunky chunky, you want a thicker shirt. Mm -hmm. Come here, Sico. Okay. So you went outside. You had your lunch. Now it's time to stop. <laughs> yeah, so. Let's make these shirts a little thicker, you guys. Thank you. Uh, I do love it, though. Okay, uh, that I might give to the dogs. That's important. They'll like that. So today, I don't know what we'll be doing. We got a free day. Free day. Yesterday I spent um doing laundry, cleaning, sweeping. I love having my house back to normal. Mm hmm I appreciate everything Bruce does, but that's the way I do things. Mm -hmm. And he likes the way I do things too. Mm -hmm. It's a win-win situation. Mm -hmm. As you can see, I made my promise on New Year's Day. I am not restricting... I'm not saying, oh, I'm not going to eat tea. I'm not going to eat fast food for a month. I'll eat it when I want. Uh, I'm just 2023. It's a whole new year for me, and it's a whole new thinking. I'm thinking. I'm not making reservation reservations, <laughs> resolutions. I'm not promising anything. I'm just taking one day at a time and I'm not planning a no-spend month. No. Every time I plan these things, they fail. Something happens. I'm not doing it anymore. I'm a whole new person. <laughs> a whole new person. That's not saying that you can't do it if you want to. You sure go ahead. Mm hmm Yeah. I'm just not. At the time, right now, not interested in especially videos. Oh, no spin for the month of January. Not interested. I'll probably save more money than ever. Not doing that. <laughs> yeah. Mm hmm
Bruce's first day back to work was rough. Mm -hmm. These cheese curds, I'm telling you, they make no sense to me. Rubber. Complete rubber. I could see if you got a cheese flavor, but you don't. You just get rubber. And I know there's a lot of cheese, cheese curd lovers out there. And I know there's some people that never have tried them. You're not missing anything. <laughs> no. Mm-hmm. I'll probably keep reading my book today. I'm quite, quite far. I got, like... I got that much red. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. I'll tell you about it later. Or I could tell you now. It's, it's, it hasn't completely got my approval yet. It might though. Mm -hmm. No. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Sixty degrees today, you guys. When I went out to take care of the animals to let Cindy open up the gate, there was a spider web. I walked through a spider web in January. I just think last week week and a half ago we had a blizzard mm -hmm. that was something like we didn't get the blizzard snow but we did get snow but the wind when in the cold temperatures when you went out there out, when you opened the door to let the dogs out or whatever the eerie sound of the wind and the snow and it was so eerie and cold. It was scary. And today, 60 degrees, you only need a sweater. You don't need a coat. Since he's been enjoying, she must be getting worms or something. She's enjoying being out there. How's your meal? That's good. I just don't. Do you like curds? Let's try one. Come on, Emma, I don't like poutine. You know that. I'm just wondering if you like cheese curds, though. Cheese turds. Turds. Now I was. That's gonna... what a poutine exists of. I know, but I would rather have shredded cheese. That's not a poutine. Poutine is real curds. So you bit, so you bind up, and you can't let out your turds. <laughs> Bruce Bridges. Well, it's true. That <laughs> achy breaky heart on a windy bindy butt. <laughs> okay, that's enough info. Here, give Zenda curd. <laughs> what are you looking at, pervert? I'm gonna eat one. Look at these bad boys. <laughs> yeah. Where's that? Where's that uh, vitamin E stuff? I've seen it on the nightstand. 
chew on them bad boys? I don't even want to listen to him. That's not very nice to say. You got a bird and you don't want to listen to him? <laughs> no. I'm kind of sad about you. Oh, Zen. Oh, stop it there, Mr. Miserable. Anyways, my book. That's what I was telling you about. So, it starts off different. It starts off like where would you, you would get halfway through the book. There's an, an she's an actor and she has a, cod, uh, a cabin on the lake and there's a few of them. There's only about six cabin or cottages. I mean, big ones like, excuse me, uh, because they're all actors or model, and it starts off with her talking to a cop inside her cottage, but about. Across the lake, the lady, the Catherine, is missing, and um, the cops were asking her questions or anything. Meanwhile, upstairs, she has Catherine's husband tied up to the bed and gagged. What? So it's starts off with that and then uh, after the cops leave and everything she goes up there and she's like you tell me where Catherine is I want to know what you did with her so that's how the book starts oh mom what did you do the laundry yet did you miss in a sock oh probably I found it in my in my uh, comforter when I washed it. I don't know where it came from. <laughs> that happens. Throw it in the basket. Yeah, throw it in the basket. That happens. Uh, yeah, so... Well, I'm just going to take them. Because I found the other oh, okay. sock. Oh. Uh, the book started then, off that way. And then it... Who's on? <laughs> Where? She was married, and one time, uh, they were at their, they were at the, I don't know, what cottage, I guess you call it cottage, they're so big, they're like, you know, rich people's cottages, and um, she's married to a guy, well, she wakes up one day and he's not there and she goes where is he she figured he went out fishing he ended up drowning in the lake mm -hmm. so he drowned in the lake so she started drinking she's a drinker now and she's staying at the, the cottage it's been a year though um, paparazzi and everybody know that she drinks. Anyways, um, she's looking out her her window at the lake, and she sees something in the lake. Okay. It's my new look for the so new year. She thinks someone's drowning. So, she runs in the boat, under the lake, and it's a woman. It's a woman. She flips it all over, and she figures she's dead. She puts, gets her in the boat. No, she, she's dragging her, and she all of a sudden starts coughing and spitting up water. She brings her in the boat. This is Catherine, okay? Anyways, she's alive. Anyways, it goes back and it jumps from where she hasn't kidnapped. 
I mean, his name's Tom. Tom, she has a kidnap gang thing. Okay, this house is a zoo. Anyways, it turns out it's Catherine. And anyways, anyways, that day, they come over to her cottage and Tom brings wine and uh, thank her for saving her. And they have got into the wine and drink it. And, well, Catherine all of a sudden passes out. Drops her wine glass and passes out. But meanwhile, she she's been she's found some binoculars that used to be her husband. Because he was a birder. Well, she's she's. She's now looking because Catherine and Tom's cottage is across the lake. It's all windows. All windows. You could picture it. Well, now she's sitting on her porch and she's looking through their windows at them. Seeing what they're doing and stuff. I'm where I'm at right now. So, it, like I said it, at the beginning, it, Tells you that she's gonna kidnap or tie up Mom, Tom. Mom, try not to spoil the book. They like to hear my books. Okay. They like to hear. I I I wasn't gonna do it, but they like to hear my stories. Anyways, Putin's terrible today. Why don't you show him your new sweater you got from Santa? Oh, this. Mm -mm. It's Gucci, I know, I know. It's Gucci. <laughs> no, I swear. The Star Wars sweat sweatshirt. Yeah, it's pretty fly. It's pretty fly. I got some other clothes off to show you guys all of them sometime. Yeah, he got a lot of clothes for Christmas. <coughs> uh huh. Mm -hmm. That's his new Star Wars. Yeah, so these pants. Pants. Pants I got from Giant Tiger. They're pretty comfortable. Yeah. To uh, you're looking stylish. <laughs> Maybe do, Anyways, that's my book. It's it's not like I go out and get it yet. It might turn into that. I don't know. But as of right now, it's not a go out and get it book. I wouldn't run to the store and have to read it. Yeah, so. Uh, no gravy on my fries right now. Zen. All I got is these rubber balls. Want a rubber ball, Coco? You don't even want them. Anyway, um, this is my day. <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna go finish this off, do some reading, relaxing. And I'll be back, maybe to say. See you guys night. in the next one or whatever. Say good night. I should just say that now because I'm going to go read probably all the rest of the day. Did I get gravy on my shirt? Mm -hmm. Thanks for joining me for lunch. And tomorrow we'll get some good groceries. See you guys in the next one. Say say, say goodbye. Uh, Goodbye, Nades and Coco, Sandy, Gray. <laughs> we'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.